a Loro trail. Let's see how difficult that gets. If you were following my ride on Idaho VDR, in previous episode on section 5 we were riding Lolo Trail. On the same day we decided to take a bite at Lolo Pass towards Devil's Chair and Indian Post. As you will see in a moment, it didn't start well, with the first motorcycle down almost right at the beginning. I have searched the YouTube and I did not find many attempting this part of the VDR. Here it gets very tricky and the pass becomes quite technical and challenging. It gets steep and very rocky to handle this on a bigger adventure motorcycle. Right there. A wreck. We have a wreck. Yeah. After getting home and studying more videos from the Idaho BDR Lolo Pass, I have a feeling that most of the riders would exit to just before the Lolo Pass down to Highway 12 and continue doing the Lolo Pass on a pavement. Once you exit from Lolo Trail towards Lolo Pass Visitor Center on Highway 12, you will continue with the nice curves for the 12 miles on pavement which is also a lot of fun if I would know I would probably take that route as this stretch was quite challenging for us this section definitely wouldn't be recommended for a beginner rider there's too much to tackle and it requires some skills to get through even with our some experience that we have we still experience a lot of problems covering this section Bilski. There we go, Lolo Pass. We have arrived at Devil's Chair. And I think he was a heavy smoker because he must have left the cigarette lit up and burned the whole forest here. This is insane. Just in front of us here, we have an active fire on the lookout. So the guys fall asleep at the towers.
leg crack, side knee sideways. I was stupid. should mark it that it's not not for the average job gentlemen that was so stupid yeah no, there's a lot of choices here uh, one of the cooling fans on Africa Twin went burned out the fan and I'm in the middle of nowhere we're at the post office so yeah maybe they can deliver my cooling fan went oh my gosh more rocks and uh, I might have to exit the BDR uh, as soon as I get to the main road And, oh my gosh, more of its left side. It has to be peak of that. So there's the second, that's the second lookout in Indian post again.
There's a heart right here. There's a heart right here on the map. I'm passing it now. Now let's hope that the descent is gonna be more manageable. Oh yeah, right. I think we have to s stay on the left, just further away from that cliff. We're close to those fires. Crazy. Blue screw rocks. Wow, oh, that was close. And with a broken radiator, you can't go in this heat. The view up up here. Oh my gosh! And loose rocks too. Take it easy. Oh no, more rocks. Keep it to the left around the bushes. That's a descent. Pipo Saddle Kelly Creek or Crescent, whatever that is.
All right, guys, we are descending, still descending out of a Lolo Pass. Uh, yeah, it is tough. This is my cooling fan from my radiator on Africa Twin. I just had to cut it out because it's got so hot, it's melting all the plastics. So I'll be running on one fan at this moment. In the background, as you can see, there's a fire burning. Uh, I hope we're not heading into that direction. Uh, apparently not, but gotta stay positive. It is quite late. It has been a long day, but some of the views on the, in this pass are really, really out of this world. It's like a hiking trail, basically. That's the only time I've seen anything like that when I was hiking, hiking in the mountains in uh, Banff. So yeah, so this is uh, our day. Uh, we have another, what, uh, 14 miles or less uh, to the highway 12 to descend to the main drag well it's getting quite late and uh, we're still up here 10 more miles to go with one cooling fan running another beautiful scenery ap approaching for a brief moment because you really have to look on the road not on the side if possible But wow! They don't have nothing these days. Four miles to Highway 12. They're still descending from Lolo Pass. And I have a feeling that we'll be, we will be good on the BDR. Some sections are getting actually quite extreme. So we're not an isolated, that's another thing, like a very remote, uh, far away from any possible town. Like me, I got my, my fan now is toast. And uh, to get the new one here, that's like mission impossible probably. Five miles this way. Motorcycle advisor, use caution next 32 miles. Sharp curves, next four miles. As we have exited the Lola Pass, it was surely nice to see pavement. But since it was getting quite late and my camera battery was getting depleted, I was not able to film much more this evening. That evening we have made all the way to Lola Hot Springs and found a camp just across the street from Hot Springs itself. Just after we set up the camp and tents, we went for a late night showers and dip in the springs to relax after a hard day of riding. And as always, if you like that video, don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below and I'll see you next week in another video.